What's up guys and welcome back to Software and Hardware Solutions and today we're talking about Horizon Zero Dawn and yes it's a very popular game and a lot of people are playing this game right now but a lot of people are getting FPS loss, frame drops, game is lagging, game is stuttering and they're just having a very bad gameplay experience with this game especially if you're rocking a low tier gaming laptop or a low tier gaming PC or just in general a low end PC or a low end laptop. And today I'm going to show you how you can boost FPS in this game and actually get more frames out of your game, less stutter, and the gameplay experience will be much smoother overall. Alright, so I'm going to show you what you can do inside Windows, inside the graphics settings, and also inside the game. And I'm also going to do a bench test in the game so you can see that it, the FPS actually works and the settings that I'm going to show you actually works and you'll get a big FPS boost in your game. And trust me, ladies and gentlemen, this does work. So let's jump straight into it. And let me show you what you're going to need to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm on my desktop right now. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the little search button over here. Or you can just go to the start here and go to settings over here. If you do not see this option, all you can do is go to the search button here and type in settings just like this and press enter. Or you can click over here. Once you're done with that, it's going to give you the Windows settings and go to update and security. And then just make sure to check for updates and check for updates on a regular basis. I know a lot of people forget about this. I'm also a forgetful user because I always constantly forget about this. But as you can see, it's doing a download right now and it's installing it. Please keep your Windows up to date on a regular basis because your Windows is a crucial thing to keep up to date. It doesn't matter if you're a laptop user or a desktop user. Make sure that your Windows is up to date. So where it says 745, it's 745. So it's up to date right now. So the next thing you're going to need to do is keep your graphics card drivers up to date. So if you're an AMD user, Intel user, or a NVIDIA user, it doesn't matter what user you are, just keep your graphics card drivers up to date. Now there's a long way of doing this by going to Google itself and type in AMD drivers download or NVIDIA drivers download or Intel HD graphics download. There's an easier way of doing this. Just go to the search button over here and type in device manager just like this and then go to device manager once device manager opens you're going to go to the display adapters over here and click on your graphics card and right click on it and say update drivers and say search automatically for drivers now as you can see mine is already installed and it's up to date don't worry if yours starts downloading it just means that your graphics card drivers are out of date and it will start downloading your drivers and this is the easiest way of doing it the longer way is going to google and then basically going download the drivers yourself. That's the long way of doing it. All right, so the next step you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in graphics settings, just like this, and go to the graphics settings option over here. And then what you're going to need to do is switch this on if you do see this option. I highly recommend switching this on if you do see this option because it's going to boost your FPS in your game, especially if you're rocking an AMD graphics card or on a video graphics card. If you do have this option and you switch it on, it's going to ask you to restart your computer, or just restarting your laptop or your desktop PC. Once you're done with that, now a lot of people might not have this option. Don't worry, I got you covered. So what you can do is you can go to this little browse option here. This is for all users out there. It doesn't matter what graphics card you're using. It doesn't matter if you're a desktop user or a laptop user. Browse button over here and then go find where my game is installed. So I go find my game. So I'm just going to click anywhere and press H to find Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm just going to go into it and find the exe file. Double click on it and it's going to add it over here. And as you can see, it says Horizon Zero Dawn.exe. You go to the options button over here and you click on high performance. So it selects your graphics card. So it will use all the resources out of your graphics card to get your game up and running much, much better and much, much smoother. All right, just say save and then you close out of this. Now for NVIDIA users like me, I'm a NVIDIA user. What you can do is you just go on your desktop and right click on it. And just say NVIDIA control panel. If you do not see this option here, what you can do is go to the search button here and type in NVIDIA control panel. Or it will be on your desktop or it will be pinned in your start somewhere over here. Normally, it's just right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. Once you're over here, what you're going to need to do is when NVIDIA control panel opens, you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview. And where it says use the advanced 3D image settings, you are going to click on my preference. Now, you can put this all the way on quality if you've got a really good graphics card and a really good CPU and really good RAM. If you've got a mid-tier to low-tier machine, go to balanced. If you've got a low-end laptop or low-end gaming machine, just put it on performance and say apply. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to this option over here and you're going to go over here and select your graphics card. Do not select your CPU. I repeat. Do not select your CPU because you're going to bottleneck your CPU. So select your graphics card and say apply. I've already applied this, so I can't do this again. Just apply your graphics card. Then you're going to go to manage 3D settings. 
once you're over here you are not going to change anything inside global settings because this intends to change everything for windows and every single game that you are playing so just go to program settings once you open up program settings so what you're going to need to do in your program settings you're going to go to add once you click on add once you click on add you're going to see this and you're going to look for horizon zero dawn if it's not inside here what you can do is you just click on browse and you go find where your game is installed so i'm just going to click here click here press h and find horizon zero dawn double click on it double click on the box and go to the exe file and then add horizon zero dawn now the first one over here you are going to turn this off and you're going to say okay you're going to scroll down and where it says cuda gpus you are going to select your graphics card do not say use global settings say use these gpus and select the graphics card you're currently running and say okay once you're done with that you're going to scroll down and where it says quality over here this is for people out there that has a really good computer or a mid-tier gaming pc or a mid-tier laptop you are going to choose quality if you've got a gaming beast machine and you know you've got a beast of a machine you click on quality or high quality if you've got a mid-tier to low-tier gaming pc you choose performance or high performance and you will get more fps out of your game all right so i'm just going to put this on high performance because this is for low-end gaming pc users and most likely you're watching this video because you're getting low fps so i highly recommend either putting this on high performance or on performance okay once you're done with that what you're going to do is this here where it says texture filtering what you're going to need to do is keep this on this one here where it says triple buffering what you're going to do is put this off where it says virtual sync you are going to turn this on off and you're going to say apply once you're done with that you just apply this and you go out right ladies and gentlemen so the next step that you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and then what you're going to need to do is type in edit power plan just like that and you're going to go to edit power plan once you're over here you're going to go to power options and you're going to create a power plan for horizon zero dawn so you're going to select high performance and delete everything inside here and just type in horizon zero dawn just like that and say next once you're done with that you're going to say never never and say create once you're done with that you're going to see a power plan for horizon zero dawn so now you made a power plan for horizon zero dawn and you go to change plan settings once you're over here you go to change advanced power settings and open this up now you have an active power plan for horizon zero dawn and this helps a lot especially if you're getting fps loss in this game so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to this hard disk over here. This is, plays a very important role if you're playing this game on a mechanical hard drive that uses a disk. You can also put this on never if you are using an SSD like me. You can just click on this box. Yours might say 10 minutes like this or 20 minutes like this. What you're going to need to do is delete everything inside here and type in zero and say apply and click anywhere you like and it's going to say never. So now it will say turn off hard disk after never. So your hard drive will never turn off. Right, so this plays a very important role for laptop users and desktop users where it says processor power management you click on this box and where it says minimum processor state laptop users you are going to get two options here it's going to say plugged in and on battery change them both to 100 percent so just open up the box and type in 100 and say apply and then where it goes maximum processor state just make sure if you're a laptop user put them both on 100 if you're a desktop user like me you're only going to get one option like this and just make sure you type in 100 once that is done you close out of this and you exit out of this and you have a power plan for horizon zero dawn and you'll get more fps out of your game all right so now we're going to jump straight into the game and i'm going to show you what you're going to need to do to change inside the game to get the best fps out of your game and just have a better smooth gameplay experience overall and let's jump straight into that all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see we are in horizon zero dawn right now now as you can see on the right hand side over here it says optimizing shaders i highly recommend for this to finish before you jump into a game because this optimizes your shaders it's just like warzone and it's just like every other call of duty out there the newer call of duties it says optimizing shaders for a better gameplay experience or performance or however they say it now just let this finish before you jump into a game so as you can see i'm doing right now about 130 there around 120 fps it keeps going down and up down and up because it's still installing the the shaders but okay so the first thing that you're going to need to do is when you get into the game you're going to go to the settings option over here and you're going to go to display the first thing you're going to need to change is this okay so if you have a 1080p monitor or a 1080p display i highly recommend keeping this at 1080p if you're rocking anything lower than that like a 720p monitor or 720p display 
then put it on 720p because laptops or a desktop computer whatever monitor you are running it can only go to the highest that it can so if you are using a 1080p monitor keep it at 1080p if you're using a 720p monitor keep it at 720p okay where it says field of view this is your own personal preference i like keeping mine at 100 because then i can see more on my left and right hand side okay so this one over here where it says adaptive performance fps you put this off because you don't want to cap your stuff where it says fps limit you say unlimited so it uncaps your fps okay render scale this plays a very 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 important role okay so if you can play this game at a hundred render scale and you're still doing a lot of fps in this game keep it at a hundred if you're still doing fps loss in this game what i suggest you do is bring this down to about 90 percent just like that and apply it and see if you get more fps out of your game because it does help changing the render scale in your game don't worry your game won't look like shit your game will still look perfectly fine at 90 or it'll even look fine when you push this down to about 80 especially if you're rocking a low-end gaming laptop or a low-end gaming machine or just in general a low-end budget laptop or low budget gaming pc okay so if you run this game fine at 100 percent then keep it at 100 percent this one over here you keep at auto keep this at full screen do not change this to full screen borderless or windowed mode and then obviously select the monitor that you are running i have three monitors so i keep mine on my third which is my main display and you keep this your refresh rate at your hertz of your monitor or your display so if you have a 60 hertz 120 hertz 144 hertz or a 240 hertz monitor make sure to select the hertz of your screen okay once you're done with that where it says vsync you can actually disable this and put this off brightness this i'm just going to apply it brightness i highly recommend changing this from 50 to either 55 or 60 and just apply this so i'm just going to go out okay go to graphics this one over here this where it says preset we're going to keep it at custom because we're going to put custom settings inside here so where it says textures you keep this on high model quality you keep this on high this is for high-end gaming pc users okay this over here you keep on high now this if you've got a monster machine you can at least put this on medium or high and this one here also medium or high if you've got a really good computer or a really good laptop now if you're still getting a lot of frame drops in this game this one you can actually put on low shadows you put on low filter you put on low model quality you keep on high and texture quality you keep on high where it says clouds you can actually keep this on medium because you can't put this any more down as you can see you can't go more down than this this motion blur you keep it off you do not want this on because if it's on it's going to look like that and you do not need it if you've got a really good machine you can put this on go ahead and put it on but i highly recommend switching this off this one you keep on medium or you put off completely if you're doing low fps in the game okay so if you're doing good fps you can put this at medium or high it's your own personal preference but i highly recommend switching this off anti-analyzing put this on fxaa it gives you more fps in this game and it helps you a lot with fps so i'm just going to press spacebar to apply this so it's going to apply my settings all right so now it's applied and i'm going to go out and i'm going to go back into the game now as you can see i'm already doing a lot more fps than earlier on okay my shaders have been installed and the game's fps is boosted by a lot all right, so I'm going to jump straight into the game right now and show you what FPS I'm doing with my system and the settings we just tweak to show you what FPS you're going to do inside the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the game right now. Don't worry, I changed the audio quality so that does, there's no music playing in the background, so it's not irritating. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to do a bench test. Now, you can check my FPS on the left-hand side. It's running in DirectX 12 at the moment. So, I'm just going to start running around and start doing things. Okay, so now, as you can see, my FPS is at 90. Let's just hit under 90 now. There we go. So, it's 99. Okay, so I just want to show you guys something. So, when I press Escape, and I go to Settings, and I go to Graphics, and I change these things over here. So, this, I'm going to push up right now. So I'm going to put it on high, put this on about high. This one I'm going to put on high, high. Actually, let's put this on ultra. Let's put this on. Let's put this on as well and put it on high and change this. Let's put this at this and put this full and say apply. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this quickly. 
and show you how much FPS loss you get when you have all these things on. Watch my FPS. So as you can see, I'm dropping into the 60s, which is not a good thing. You do not want to drop into the 60s at all in this game, especially if it's a, a single player game. You do not want to drop into the 60s. So I highly recommend for anyone out there to just keep these settings over here. So go to graphics, keep this at high, keep this at high. This one over here, you put at low. Shadows, you put at low. This reflections, you put at low. Clouds, you put at medium. You can't go any lower than this. Motion blur, you keep this off. Ambient occlusion, you're going to put this at off. And this one, you're going to put on FXAA and say apply. And let this apply. And let me just show you that your FPS is so much better when you run the game in these settings. All right, there we go. The game still looks beautiful. There's nothing wrong with the quality. The game looks amazing and it's playable in these settings and you will not drop under 60 fps in this game no matter what you do no matter where you go no matter if you move your mouse too fast if you slide too fast or just do some bullshit doesn't matter what you do you will do high fps in this game so ladies and gentlemen that's my video on how to get more fps out of horizon zero dawn if this worked for you leave a like leave a comment down below subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new here and as always peace out